Uh, hi guys, welcome to my channel, Guy with a Plant. Uh, my name is Dennis, I'm from Singapore. And in today's uh, plant spotlight episode, I'm going to be showing you this uh, interesting plant. Uh, this is from the genus of uh, Cordyline, and this is the Cordyline Chocolate Queen. The cordyline is also known as the Thai plant and it is native to uh, places like Eastern Asia, Australia and the Pacific Islands. The early Polynesians believed that this is a good luck plant and uh, the more stocks of plants that you have, uh, the better fortune you will receive. This easy genus of plants comes in a variety of colors and it is indeed very colorful from glossy green to red and shades of uh, maroon, pink, orange, yellow uh, and white. And this Cordyline Chocolate Queen is uh, equally attractive with its uh, green and yellow colors and uh, also sometimes uh, streaks of uh, purple. Uh, on its uh, foliage but check out the stems and the petioles. Uh, it has this dark purple and light yellow color combination which makes this plant really beautiful as the plant matures uh, the stem will start to look woody uh, long and woody um, and sometimes it is uh, mistaken as a dracaena plant uh, but this is definitely a different genus. The leaves are long and uh, pendant light and also very uh, smooth uh, and soft to the touch. And it produces flowers in uh, clusters that's known as uh, panicles. Um, but this plant hardly blooms uh, when it's kept indoors. This is an evergreen shrub that is often used in uh, landscaping and the plant shape is uh, almost uh, palm-like. Let's talk about some of the experiences I have uh, with this plant. Uh, as you can see, it is always growing a new leaf and the new leaf always come out really soft and nice to the touch. And uh, yeah, it is a pretty fast grower. Unlike the Dracaena, you cannot keep this cordyline in a dark corner. Uh, in fact, I think most plants appreciate uh, some level of light, so a dark corner will not do. <laughs> uh, what this likes is a very bright uh, corner, uh, very bright light. Uh, so I keep mine uh, in the balcony uh, in the afternoon where it is still bright but no direct sun. Or it appreciates at least uh, some shaded uh, direct sun so for it to thrive so bright indirect light for this cordy watering this plant doesn't like to dry out so uh, water this when the top one inch or so of the potting medium uh, is dry uh, and never let it dry out totally before you start to water this so in my case, uh, I water this uh, once every five to seven days, uh, depending on the weather. And this cordy likes uh, to be misted. Uh, I miss this uh, almost every day. Uh, I even miss the leaves, uh, but just got to make sure that there is a very good uh, air circulation so that there will be no fungal or bacteria uh, infection due to uh, stagnant uh, water droplets on the leaves. Like most tropical plants, uh, this definitely appreciates a little bit of good humidity but if you don't have a uh, fret knot, uh, if it can thrive in my level of humidity, uh, you are good to go. I fertilize this uh, as what I do with most of my plants, a slow release fertilizer that I change every 90 days or at least I top out every 90 days or so and also very mild and diluted uh, liquid fertilizer every week or so uh, when I water this plant. 
I don't have any pest issues with it yet. Uh, I don't think this is uh, very prone to pests, uh, unlike those uh, caladias and alocasias. Um, yeah, but I know it does uh, attract um, pests, maybe like aphids uh, or mini bugs uh, and the leaf hoppers. Uh, but so far, I've seen none, so that's good for me. I've not propagated my uh, this specimen, but uh, since it's still very young, uh, it's far from being a mature plant. Uh, when it's mature, I think it can go up to 4 to 5 meters, but I don't think that will happen with mine. Uh, yeah, but anyway, you can propagate this by stem cuttings, uh, rhizome division, or maybe even try uh, air layering. The cotton line is often overshadowed by its uh, ever popular philodendron and amphirium cousins. Uh, but if you're looking for something that is really hardy and cheap uh, for a start, uh, you should get this plant because there are so many varieties and cultivars to choose from, and some of them are really colorful and eye popping. Uh, as well. It will also give you the confidence in uh, keeping house plants uh, before you move on to uh, something that is a little bit more challenging. Thank you for watching this episode of Plant Spotlight. Um, if you like contents like that, I hope you can subscribe to my channel and also to like and uh, comment on this video. Um, yeah. Meanwhile, take care, be safe and uh, I shall see you again in my next uh, video. Bye!